Section. Introduction. In this section, we aim to explain text embedding models in a simpler way. These models help convert natural language text into vector representations, making it easier to perform tasks like comparing text similarity, finding information, and grouping similar text. Traditionally, models like BERT and T5 were commonly used for this purpose. These models were trained in multiple steps using different types of training methods. Recently, there has been a shift towards using decoder-only models for text embedding tasks. However, these models have a limitation called causal attention, which restricts how tokens interact with each other during encoding. Decoder-only models have some advantages over encoder-only models. They can learn from all input tokens during training, making them more efficient in using training data. Also, there are many tools and pre-training methods available for decoder-only models, leading to continuous improvements. Some decoder-only models are particularly good at following instructions, making them suitable for creating universal text embedding models that can handle various tasks based on instructions. In our work, we introduce a simple unsupervised method called LLM2VEC to convert any pre-trained decoder-only model into a text encoder. LLM2VEC involves three steps, enabling bidirectional attention, masked next token prediction, and unsupervised contrastive learning. Importantly, LLM2VEC does not need labeled data and is efficient in terms of data and parameters. We tested LLM2VEC on different decoder-only models and found that it outperformed strong encoder-only models in tasks like chunking, named entity recognition, and part-of-speech tagging. By combining LLM2VEC with supervised contrastive training, we achieved state-of-the-art performance among models trained only on publicly available data. Our analysis also revealed interesting insights into how LLM2VEC affects model representations. Overall, our work shows that decoder-only models can indeed create universal text embeddings with minimal adjustments. Section Summary In this section, we introduce text embedding models that encode natural language text into vector representations for various NLP tasks. While traditional models like BERT and T5 dominate, we explore decoder-only LLMs, which face limitations due to their causal attention mechanism. To address this, we propose LLM2VEC, a simple unsupervised approach that transforms decoder-only LLMs into effective text encoders by enabling bidirectional attention and masked next token prediction, leading to improved performance on word and sequence level tasks without requiring labeled data. Section. Unsupervised Contrastive Learning, SIM CSE. In this section, we will explain how we applied unsupervised contrastive learning, known as SIM CSE, to enhance the sequence representations of decoder-only language model models, LLMs. Unlike bidirectional encoders, decoder-only LLMs do not explicitly capture the context of the entire sequence during pre-training. To address this limitation, we utilized SIM CSE by generating two different representations of the same input sequence through the model with independently sampled dropout masks. The model was trained to maximize the similarity between these representations while minimizing the similarity with representations of other sequences in the batch. This step does not require paired data and can be applied to any collection of sequences. By using a pooling operation on the token representations, we obtained the sequence representation. The three steps combined, bidirectional attention, by, plus masked next token prediction, MNTP, plus SIM CSE, form the LLM2 VEC recipe. We experimented with three decoder-only LLMs with different parameters, sheared LAMA 1.3B, S LAMA 1.3B, LAMA 2-7B chat, LAMA 2-7B, and Mistral 7B instruct V0.2, Mistral 7B. For training data, we utilized English Wikipedia for both the MNTP and SIM CSE steps. The MNTP step used the Wikitext 103 dataset, while a subset of Wikipedia sentences was used for the unsupervised SIM CSE step. In the masked next token prediction step, 
we randomly mask some tokens in the input sequence and fine-tuned the model using LoRa to predict the mask token based on the representation of the previous token. We trained the models for 1000 steps with a batch size of 32 on a single 80 GB A100 GPU, taking 90 minutes for 7B models. For the unsupervised contrastive learning step, we applied the SIM CSE approach by creating positive examples through the model's dropout on the same input sequence and using other sequences in the batch as negatives. We integrated the MNTP LoRa weights into the base model and initialized new LoRa parameters before the SIM CSE training. Training for 1000 steps took 2.5 hours for 7B models on a single 80 GB A100 GPU with a batch size of 128. We evaluated the models on word-level tasks such as chunking, named entity recognition, NER, and part-of-speech tagging, POS, using the CONLL2003 benchmark. By training task-specific linear classifiers on top of the frozen representations, we compared the LLM2 VEC transformed models to Deberta V3 Large, the current state-of-the-art encoder-only model. The results showed that constructing token representations with causal attention already outperformed the encoder-only baseline on all three tasks. Naively applying bidirectional attention significantly decreased performance in most cases. Interestingly, Mistral 7B showed less performance decrease with bidirectional attention compared to other models. Adapting via MNTP improved performance for all models and tasks. However, Combining MNTP with SIMCSE performed worse than just applying MNTP, as SIMCSE is more beneficial for sequence-level tasks. Section Summary In this section, we introduce unsupervised contrastive learning, SIMCSE, to enhance sequence representations in decoder-only LLMs. By applying SIMCSE, we aim to maximize similarity between two representations of the same sequence while minimizing similarity with other sequences in the batch. This step, combined with BI plus MNTP, forms the LLM2 VEC recipe, which we evaluate on word-level tasks to show improved contextual representations. Section. Evaluation on sequence-level tasks. In this section, we will evaluate our model on sequence-level tasks. We used the Massive Text Embedding Benchmark, MTEB, which includes seven different embedding task categories with a total of 56 datasets. To determine the best pooling method for each task, we conducted experiments on a subset of 15 tasks that represent each MTEB category. We followed specific instructions for each task, similar to previous studies, and compared our model to unsupervised BERT models and ECHO embeddings. Our results on the 15 task subset of MTEB showed that causal attention is not the best choice for constructing text embeddings. Using weighted mean pooling outperformed other methods in most cases. Bidirectional attention without training did not improve performance for some models but did for others. Training with MNTP and applying SIMCSE further enhanced the performance of our models significantly. When we expanded our evaluation to the full MTEB dataset, we observed a notable performance improvement after implementing bidirectional attention and MNTP. Compared to echo embeddings, our LLM2 VEC model was more efficient and achieved state-of-the-art results, especially after incorporating unsupervised SIM CSE. Our LLM2 VEC model effectively captures information from future tokens, as demonstrated by our analysis on sentence similarity. By evaluating on a synthetic dataset, we confirmed that our model can distinguish between sentences with similar prefixes but different meanings, showcasing its ability to incorporate future token information into representations. Section Summary In this section, we evaluate our models on sequence-level tasks using the Massive Text Embedding Benchmark, MTEB, which consists of seven diverse embedding task categories across 56 datasets. By comparing various pooling methods, we find that applying causal attention is not optimal for constructing text embeddings, and using weighted mean pooling outperforms other methods. 
Our LLM2 VEC approach significantly improves performance on the MTEB dataset, making it a state-of-the-art unsupervised model by incorporating information from future tokens and outperforming previous approaches. Section. Results. In this section, we present the results of our analysis for S Llama 1.3b and Mistral 7b. The results for Llama 2 to 7b, which show similar trends, and a comparison to echo embeddings are provided in the appendix. For S Llama 1.3b, we noticed that enabling bidirectional attention and training with the MNTP objective helped to clearly distinguish between positive and negative examples. For Mistral 7b, all configurations result in a higher cosine similarity between the query and positive examples compared to the query and negative examples. We then explore why bidirectional attention works for Mistral models even without training. Our empirical results and analysis reveal that bidirectional attention works effectively for Mistral 7b, even without prior training. We further investigate this surprising behavior by analyzing how bidirectional attention influences the model's representations. In our setup, we input a random paragraph from Wikipedia to each model and calculate the hidden representations of every token at each layer using causal and bidirectional attention. We then compute the cosine similarity between these representations for each layer. We expect the similarity to be low for most layers since bidirectional attention without training should result in significantly different representations. Our analysis shows that enabling bidirectional attention without training has a significant impact on the representations for S Llama 1.3b and Llama 2 to 7b, leading to low cosine similarity across most layers and token positions. However, for Mistral 7b, the representations exhibit very high cosine similarity consistently. Based on these findings and our experiments with other inputs and Mistral models, we speculate that Mistral models may be pre-trained with some form of bidirectional attention, such as prefix language modeling, during certain parts of their training. Moving on to combining LLM2 VEC with supervised contrastive learning, we train on a modified version of the E5 dataset and use standard practices for training the models with contrastive learning. We observe improved performance for models transformed with LLM2 VEC compared to a strong baseline. While unsupervised SIM CSE is less critical for supervised training, combining MNTP and SIM CSE in LLM2 VEC proves to be more sample efficient, especially in settings with limited compute or data. Our best model, Mistral 7b, LLM2 VEC without SIM CSE, achieves state of the art performance among models trained solely on publicly available data. To demonstrate the sample efficiency of LLM2 VEC transformed models, we evaluate their performance on a 15-task subset of MTEB at regular intervals during training. The results show that LLM2 VEC transformed models achieve better performance earlier in training, indicating improved sample efficiency across all models. Even for the smallest model, S Llama 1.3b, just using MNTP leads to significantly enhanced sample efficiency. These findings are promising for scenarios where obtaining high-quality labeled data is challenging, an area we aim to explore in future research. Section Summary In this section, we present the results of our analysis for S Llama 1.3b and Mistral 7b, showing that enabling bidirectional attention and training with the MNTP objective effectively separate positive and negative examples in S Llama 1.3b while Mistral 7b exhibits a larger cosine similarity between query and positive examples. We investigate why bidirectional attention works for Mistral models without training by analyzing the impact on model representations, revealing that Mistral models may be pre-trained with some form of bidirectional attention. Section. Supervised Text Encoders. In this section, we discuss how supervised text encoders have evolved over time. Initially, these methods use tasks like natural language inference to train models like BERT for generating sentence embeddings. Later on, BERT models were also applied to tasks such as retrieval. Recent advancements have enhanced these models through a multi-stage learning process involving large-scale weekly supervised training followed by multi-task fine-tuning. 
Recent approaches have focused on improving the generalization and transferability of text embeddings using instructions. On the other hand, unsupervised text encoders have been developed by training them without labeled data, using only a set of unordered sentences. These approaches typically create two different representations of the same sentence for contrastive learning. The methods differ in how they create these representations, such as by perturbing the input sentence or using different model instances. For example, SimCSE generates two representations of a sentence by running it through the model twice with different dropout masks. Furthermore, there has been a focus on turning decoder-only language model models, LLMs, into text encoders. Although decoder-only LLMs have shown superior performance in various language tasks, their impact on sentence representation learning has been limited. Common approaches use the final hidden state of the last token as the sentence embedding. Recent works have addressed the limitations of LLMs for sentence representation by combining self-supervised language modeling with causal attention and supervised contrastive learning with bidirectional attention. Our proposed approach is more computationally efficient, requiring only parameter-efficient fine-tuning and 1,000 gradient steps. This approach outperforms existing methods without adding computational overhead at inference time. 